Hi, in this video I want to take a look at dictionaries and to kind of show you how they can be useful when writing a program um, but also just kind of really help you understand what they are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start in idle and then we're going to talk through a program where we're going to create a simple shopping basket. Um, so a dictionary is made up of two parts, a, a key and a value. Now let's say I had a suitcase uh, this suitcase is going to be a dictionary, and in this suitcase, I'm going to pack some clothing. So I'm going to have some, I don't know, pants. Okay, and I'm going to take five pairs of pants, and I'm going to take some socks. I'm going to take five pairs of socks. I'm also going to take some jeans. I'm going to take two pairs of jeans, and I'm going to take some shoes as well. Um, I'll take one pair of shoes and I should probably pack a few more things but in the interest of this video we'll keep it small okay so if I was to call back this suitcase you can see it's got all the items uh, I packed um, and it's got some values associated with it so what happens if I want to you know print a particular element of that suitcase like find out how many uh, pants I've got so if I type in suitcase and pants It returns the value 5 because 5 is what is stored in pants. Likewise, if I do suitcase and uh, jeans, it should return 2 because I've got two pairs of jeans. I can also do things like for item in suitcase, print item. This will only print the values, uh, uh, sorry, the keys. Okay, so if I want to uh, associate, well, print the values as well. What I would have to do is for item in suitcase, for each item in suitcase, print item, comma, and maybe something like um, this, and then the suitcase item. So remember, with a dictionary, if I put in the dictionary the uh, key, in this case, we're returning the key from the item is the key, it will print off for us uh, the following information, pants 5, socks 5, jeans 2, shoes 1. Okay, so that's a nice easy sort of um, uh, introduction into, into uh, dictionaries. So let's take a closer look at our um, shopping basket program. Right, so the idea behind the shopping basket program is that I've got four options. One, option one, I'm going to add an item. Option two, I'm going to remove an item. Option three, I'm going to view my basket in. Option zero is going to end the program. I've already created the basic, uh, in, well, the basic um, uh, structure of my program. It's just a case of putting things into my program to get everything to work. So the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to print off the options to the, to the user. We're going to get the option from the user. And while the option is not zero, so while we don't want the option to um, be zero to it quits, we're going to either add an item, remove an item, or view the basket. So let's start off by um, adding items to the dictionary. So the first thing we're going to need to do is find out what the item is that uh, needs to be put in. So we're going to get the item from the user, uh, enter an item. And I'll just point out that this program is nowhere going to be very efficient. It's uh, you know it's just a uh, an introduction into this. Uh, you can enhance this uh, later on. So we're going to get the item. We're also going to get the quantity from the user. This is going to be an integer. So we're going to int the input. Uh, enter the quantity. Be good if I spell everything right. Okay. Um, and then once we've got the item, we've got the quantity, we're just going to add that to the uh, dictionary. So the dictionary is called shopping basket, equal, uh, shopping basket and then the item, which we've collected from the user, equals the quantity. Okay. Um, now, basically, what that says is if I wanted to add something new to this uh, dictionary, if we go back to the suitcase example, if I type in suitcase, and then I wanted to add something like um, shirts. I can say shirts, I want six. If I call up my suitcase now, you can see that shirts has been added. A point to note here, if I type in suitcase uh, and then shirts again, and I type in uh, three now, that's not gonna add three more to 
the shirt, what it's going to do is override the six and change it to a three. In order to add one to the suitcase, if I go suitcase and um, shirts again, if I do that again, it's going to be uh, equal to or plus equals uh, whatever it was plus maybe six. If I look at the suitcase again, it's going to be equal to nine now. Yeah, sorry if you hear any uh, noise. I'm recording this in uh, a school and it's impossible to find a quiet place. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, the last bit I showed you was the suitcase, uh, suitcase and shirts and, um, you know, overriding and um, making um, sort of adjustments to values. Overriding a value, making an adjustment to a value. So let's go back to this. At the moment, this code is just going to override anything. You know, if the item is, isn't there, it's going to add it to the dictionary. If the item is there, it's going to override the, the quantity. And we can mess around with that later by, you know, putting in an if statement. But essentially, that code will get the user from the item, uh, sorry, get the item from the user, uh, get the quantity from the user, and then add or override the item in, in the dictionary with a quantity attached to it. The next one is to remove an item. Well, this one is actually very simple as well. The first thing we need to do is get the item from the user again. So item, equal, uh, item equals input, uh, enter an item. Um, and all we need to do now is delete that item from the shopping basket. So shopping basket, and then we type in the item. Okay, uh, so that will, if the item exists, it will just delete it from the, from the, from the dictionary. The third one is uh, view the basket. Well, that's a nice and easy one. That's just print um, shopping basket. Now, we could do it like that, and I'll show you another way of you know, making it look a little bit prettier. In fact, it's, it, it, you know, if I just do print shopping basket, it's going to appear like this suitcase. I could put the, uh, the code in like this. Uh, in fact, let's do that because it'll be a bit nicer. Um, so for item in shopping basket, not shooping basket, shopping basket, um, print item, comma, comma, um, and then we want the shopping basket item. Okay, so that's a nice, simple sort of uh, way of printing the contents of the shopping basket. I'll make that a little bit easier to read. Okay, so at the end of that, uh, at the end of that sequence, it asks for the next option to avoid uh, any kind of further loops. And I'm just going to add a little comment section here saying print something like um, shopping basket program closed. Okay, so this is the else uh, when the the while, while the while loop is in operation, it's going to perform uh, allow us to choose these options. When we break out of that, it's just going to print shopping basket program closed. Okay, so that's the program. Let's, uh, oh, I should save that really. Uh, let's save it on my desktop because I'm a desktop junkie. Uh, shopping basket. Okay. Right, so let's run this and see what's going on. Uh, that would be the wrong button. Oh, yeah. There we go, right. So enter uh, an option. So first of all, my basket is empty. So I can't, I can't do anything with that. Um, so let's put in option one. Where's my cursor gone? Oh, right, let's just start that again. Cancel that. Let's go to F5 again. Right. One, add an item. Let's add apple. I'm going to add two. I'll add another item. I'll add a pair. I'll add four, five. I'll add one more item. A banana. Ooh. Banana. I'll add ten of those. Okay. Now let's view the basket. Uh, apple, pear, and banana. And uh, sometimes this might not print out in the same order that the dictionary appears. And I've done a video in my Fun Python Mini Project uh, playlist. Um, I'll put a link to the description. It allows you to sort them and things like that. 
Um, so uh, I've realized I'm allergic to bananas. Uh, so let's remove a banana. So option two, add an item, um, banana. Banana's now removed. Um, come on. Why won't you let me delete? That's going to call this an error. That's weird. My keyboard's messing up. Um, so we'll just run it again. Uh, add my item. Banana. 10. Apple. What do I put? Apple uh, 2, I think, wasn't it? Where is it? In the interest of, yeah, 2. In the interest of consistency. Enter. Oh, my days. Errors galore. Right, I'm just going to pause it, and through the magic of editing, we'll have uh, a state where we were before. Ta-da! Right, so uh, I've relaunched my program. So um, I've added two apples, I've added five pears, and I've added ten bananas. You can see the, uh, here, the answer here. I am allergic to bananas, so I'm going to put in option number two, and I'm going to delete the banana. Uh, it would be good if I spelt it. Banana. Okay. Uh, doesn't give me a warning message or anything saying something's been deleted, didn't put that in. But if we review the basket now, you can see that the banana has been removed. Um, let's say actually I, I want more apples now. So at the moment I have to type in one apple and then I can override the original apple. So at the moment it's two. I want ten apples, so I put ten, print the shopping basket. Um, that's, oh that's delete, whoops. Oh, I'll get rid of the pair. Um, I meant to go three. You can see the apple is now on ten. If I wanted to modify that program uh, and say, right, what if uh, the the um, item already exists? I instead of adding an item, what I can do is say in here, um, enter an item. If item in shopping basket. Okay, if it is in the shopping basket, I can print uh, some sort of message saying something like print item already in shopping basket. Um, and then kind of go on and say, what do you want to do? Do you want to, oh, um, do you want to add more um, to the basket or, um, you know, uh, if it's not in the basket, I can just set the value. So, for example, here. So, if the item is in the shopping basket, print item is already in the shopping basket. Ask for the quantity, like we wanted to before. Okay, and then I'm going to do the the shopping basket um, of the item is plus equals the quantity. If it's not in the shopping basket, then again, I just ask for the quantity and I set the value. So you can see the difference here. This one is plus equals, which is equivalent to, uh, to make, maybe make it clearer, shopping basket item plus the quantity. So whatever the shopping bar, the value of the shopping basket is equal to whatever the value was plus the new quantity. Whereas this is just set the value. So now, if I run this, uh, yep, we'll start again. So uh, the shopping basket option number one. Uh, I'm going to add an apple, and I'll set that to two. I'm going to add more apples now. Apple. It says item already in shopping basket. Enter the quantity. Um, I'm going to add ten more. So now, when I view the shopping basket, you can see the apple is on twelve. Uh, and that's basically it. And you can you can just keep adding features to this uh, to this program. So, for example, are you sure you want to delete the item? Yes, no, you know, and then make those decisions. You might have an option asking how many of um, the uh, items you want to remove. So, for example, you typed in ten apples, but actually you only want five. You could ask. You don't want to necessarily delete all the apples straight away, but you might say how many do you want to remove. Or do you want to remove them all? So you just keep building extra features into this program to make it a little bit more usable. Okay, I think I've spoken enough. Um, I'll, I'll stop it here and um, 
I might do a few more little videos like this uh, just to kind of help people recap over past skills. All right, take care.